let's tell you what Lula Region's priority access has to offer you and what our experience was using it when we sailed on the Region Escape out of Port Canaveral. That's right. Priority access includes priority check-in and boarding. Priority check-in and boarding. So you get a little bit of an advantage, a little bit of a... Um, I mean, I assume that means you get on a little quicker than others. Um, Carnival has Fast for the Fun. Uh, Royal Caribbean has the key. But all these programs work a little differently. But paying a little bit extra for priority check-in and boarding, let's tell you how that worked out for us. So there was okay. a huge line outside the terminal, yep. uh, over 100 people. Yep. No special line there. So we had to go through that. We mm -hmm. went up the uh, the elevator. You go elevator or escalator. Right. Then you went through security. No special line there. Yeah. And you get through and you go to the main check-in area. And there's two groups of lines, or at least two groups of lines. Yes. But there's one reserved for priority access. We went through there. We didn't have to wait too long there before someone was ready for us. Yep. We got our picture taken again <laughs> for our for yep. security purposes, I'm sure. Yep. And then they said, oh, we don't have your room keys. Oh, for no. everybody else, you know, the room key is ready. But for some reason, there was a snag a and snafu. our room key wasn't ready. So we probably, how long do you think we were waiting there while they went and made our room key? It seemed like over a half an hour okay. at least. It was like 20 seemed minutes, like, half an hour, something like that. It seemed a long time. But we saw people in the regular line come and go, come and go, come and go. So that may have just been a snafu in the whole situation. But honestly, even if we did get our room key right away, I don't think we would have gotten on really any faster than anybody else. Because we yeah. had to wait those two huge lines before we even got to the to the counter. I was able to watch the movie of my life and back. Okay. Well, that's one way to kill the time. <laughs> that's the first feature that you get with uh, Norwegian's Priority Access. The next feature is Tender Priority off the ship and they do say on here catch or the uh the footnote is when applicable so tinder priority off the ship now that means if you go to a port where you need to take the little boats the little tenders little water taxis whatever you mm -hmm. want to call them yep. you have priority to get on to them not That's coming right. back off the island off the port or whatever but going off the ship onto the tender you have a uh, priority yep you can so, get on first is what they yeah do. yeah so first or second Earlier than most people. Exactly. Okay. I think the people in the suites are probably getting on before us, regardless. Exactly. But anyway, they kept putting these envelopes in our room for tendering, for, you know, welcome aboard, for debarkation, all that sort of thing. And in one of them, for the one port we had where tendering was required, and that was for um, great, a great stirrup key. Their, That's a uh, private island. Norwegian's private island. The day before that, they put an envelope with this letter in it. And this letter was really confusing. What did it say, Dan? Well, it basically, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but it basically says, for guests who have priority access, follow these instructions. And there's two possible options. If you need assistance, go to this area of the ship. If you're participating in a shore excursion, go to this other area. And then it doesn't say what to do if you have priority access and you're mm -hmm. not needing special assistance or you're and you're not doing an excursion. And then it says, thank you once again, and we apologize for any inconvenience. So I think this is a poorly written letter saying, basically, in this case, a great stirrup key, priority access, their own private island, it didn't apply. Yeah. Which we didn't get a chance to verify that as it happens, because that stop was canceled because of high winds. We didn't high even winds. have gone to great stirrup key. So, yeah, yeah I can't, we can't really score... <laughs> Or give a bunch of a review on that one, but based on the letter we got here, I think it probably wasn't going to be all that great for us. Yeah. Did, like, I don't think that was very useful as a perk. That should have been a precursor to what we were expecting. Oh, uh oh, you're getting a little <laughs> ominous here. Okay, let's <laughs> dun, move on. Dun. So let's talk about the other flip side of what we talked about. So this is getting off the ship. Priority yes. debarkation at home port. That's right. So do you remember? The last day of our cruise, um, we didn't have to get the luggage tags. They brought us luggage tags to our room in one of these envelopes that yep. gave us, you know, priority to get off the ship a little sooner than others. That's right. So we were after, like, the suites and the people in the Latitudes Club with, like, the gold and platinum memberships. Yeah. But we were before most of the other people. Yeah. We took the elevators down and headed through the uh, Manhattan Club. I think it's called the Manhattan Dining Room. And um, what happened? Do you remember? We were told to wait. 
Yeah, we, there was a huge line. The line went through the dining room all the way down the corridor through the casino. And we got in this long line, and, and I didn't see a special line for priority access. So mm-hmm. we're like, okay. And it just so happened a couple behind us had a gentleman who was very outspoken about the fact that um, he he was not happy that he was uh, he had priority access that he'd mm-hmm. paid for, and he was just in this big, huge line. And I, for, for better or for worse, I, I engaged with him and, and got in that conversation and said, yeah, we have it too. And I'm like, surprise, that's, you know, the case that we're just in this huge line again, just mm-hmm. like kind of the first day. Right. And one of the crew members overheard us and said, oh, you have party access? Oh, you can go all the way up. You don't have to stay in this line. Just go up to her. And he pointed to uh, a young lady, another crew member, all the way down in the dining room. And so... Us and that couple went down past all these people, like, aren't we special? Yeah. Um, and walked up to this lady and said, Yeah, we have party access. And she just looked like the deer lights. She had no idea what we were even talking about. Yeah, no idea. Yeah. And so we kind of stood there and I tried to explain it, then he tried to explain it. And finally, another crew member talked to her and said, Oh, yeah, you could just let them through. So they opened up the velvet rope, let mm-hmm. us cut through all the dining tables across the room. And then we had to make our way out of the velvet rope again to rejoin this line of people who were like, why are these people cutting? I know. You know, why, why didn't they have a special line or a sign at least that said party access this way? So that didn't work out so well. So I don't know how to say this other than to make it sound like we're complaining because it just really is just simply the facts. So that was that. The next perk is that you get standard room service breakfast. But yeah. no charge. So standard room service breakfast. It's kind of like um, the, the the continental breakfast. I think they've got a couple uh, hot food items like an omelet or something on there. But mm-hmm. mostly it's the the cold cereal, right? Yogurt, fruit, that sort of thing. And normally you would get charged five dollars a day for a delivery of the standard yeah. uh, breakfast. So you're saving five dollars by having uh, party access. As it happened. We chose not to do it. Yeah, we always went to either Oceans or mm-hmm. one of the MDRs, and we had great service. Mm-hmm. And we didn't have to pay extra. Yeah, and they had, <laughs> yeah, that was that, that was true. And they had little um, hang tags in the menu for the room service menu. But strangely, they didn't have holes no hooked holes in them for the hang, hang tag. So, to put it on your door. So I wonder how many people bothered with those. Because we saw a couple people that you could tell they just stabbed them with a pen or something uh, so they could put them on their doorknob. Yeah, uh, the door handle for the room. So we did. We, I mean, we basically chose not to use that perk. So I can't say really anything bad about it. Um, yeah. You know, it's it's a, it's a perk that could save you, you know, thirty five dollars plus gratuities on a week run cruise. But yeah. Um, yeah, that's that's another feature. Um, also, with Norwegian's Priority Access, you get a fifty dollar discount at the spa. Discount per person. $50 spa discount <clears throat> per person. And now the, the thing on this is it's only on port day, so you can't do it on sea day. Right. So what did you think about that? Did you use that? Well, I looked at the prices of uh, the, spa. the spa, and um, you'd still end up having to pay a little bit, you know, or a yeah. good bit of change. So yeah. $50. I, figured, I can save that money in Go on land and get my nails done. Yeah, my hair done. So I think what you're trying to say is the fifty dollars <laughs> per person would be just a, like a little bit of a dent in the price. Not yeah. not 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 like a big, um, not a huge savings. But hey, if you were going to use a spa anyway, and you had priority access, that would be a great, uh, right. great uh, marriage of, <laughs> of situations. There. I mean, if you but, really enjoy getting saunas mm-hmm. and. Yeah. Spa or thermal suites. Oh, or you know me. Massage massages. Oh yeah. So that so that is a feature that you could use. Mm-hmm. It could save you fifty bucks per person mm-hmm. if you choose to use that. And the last perk is canopies. Canopies delivered on the second day of your cruise, and this is the one thing that uh, I guess I would call it the one tangible benefit you get. It's actually something you get to look at and you can eat. I didn't know what canopies were. Until. Yeah, well, let's show them what we got. So yeah. on the second day, we came back to our room and we discovered this plate of uh, uh, bite-sized hors d'oeuvres. So that's what a canopy is. Yeah. And um, I don't know if you can tell by scale here how big they are, but basically they're, this is kind of standard for a canopy, I think. Basically, they're bite-sized. If you tried to eat them in two bites, it would look comical. So they're just like little bite-sized 
uh, you know, hors d'oeuvres. I yeah. don't know what's called them. I was expecting a little bit more, but you know. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe not super exciting or anything, but a nice little thing to come back to your room and find. But yeah. you know, we had we also had a different day where we came back and found chocolate covered strawberries that were given to us. Uh, you had ordered them. Uh, did I? Oh, yeah. okay. Well, <laughs> well, that's no. I thought we got something for free because the 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 service issue we had. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's a different story. So. <laughs> Should you get priority access? I didn't mention the price, but I'll give you an idea here of what you can expect. Of course, that's always changing. But for us, for two people, it's basically it's for the whole room, the whole stateroom. So it's not per person. But per stateroom for a seven-day cruise like ours, it was about $200. So considering it didn't really help us much getting on, it didn't really help us much getting off unless we wanted to be pushy, which we ended up being through partnership with this other couple but not not wouldn't have been what my plan would have been um and you know you literally like the little bite-sized canopies and you want to use a spa maybe and this room service for us it wasn't worth it it wasn't worth it at all yeah you could have saved that money and gone on an excursion or had mm -hmm. a special another specialty dining or yeah. save it for the casino yeah. who knows you know so i i like bingo. Hopefully Norwegian works out some of the, uh, the the kinks on this and makes it so it's more worthwhile. Mm -hmm. If they actually had a banner at check and that said priority access this way before you were like actually up there at the line where there were equal sized lines, whether you had priority or not, it's going mean, it's pointless, you know. Right. Um, and, you know, ha had a plan for debarkation. If you're going to sell something saying, hey, you get um, you get. Priority debarkation, well, you need to have a system for that. It can't just be you tell them that and then you don't tell the crew, much less you don't even put up a, a, a sign to have a special exit or a special line, you know, a, a little rope or something saying, you guys go this way. Otherwise, what are you paying for? So yeah. we don't recommend priority access. If you have a different experience, please let us know. Comment down below and let us know. Mm -hmm. If you found this information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up like this video, and if you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe so you can follow us for future videos.